didn't see you there. <laughs> so what you're seeing is video output from a 4K webcam. Uh, this one's by Wirestorm, Wirestorm. And this webcam has built in subject tracking, right? So you can see the wide 100 degree field of view, but here's what makes this one dope tech. It keeps the subject in the middle of the frame. It's called auto framing. So there's no moving parts in this webcam. It's all through the software. And that's really impressive if you ask me. Video quality is incredible for a webcam. One of the reasons I love doing webcam videos is you can see right off the bat whether it sucks or not. I mean, it's right there on display for you to see with your own two or four eyes. So this is 4K resolution. That's 3840 by 2160 at 30 frames per second. And I have confirmed that it is actually outputting just that. So there's no funny business going on here with this one. It also shoots at 1080p up to 60 frames. Now we're gonna get into things like audio quality, looking closer at the video quality and other features. But first, welcome to the Gadget Inspector channel where I'm into all kinds of drones, all kinds of gadgets. If you're into that kind of stuff, you're in the right place, my friend. Please consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to click that bell. That way you'll know when I upload new videos. All right, let's get into more of this Wirestorm 4K webcam in just a second. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Gadget Inspector. Okay, one of the things I always harp on is pairing a good webcam with a good microphone because audio is actually even more important than good video. Now, what you're hearing audio from right now is a device from Monocaster. It's a Monocaster podcasting bundle. And since I have podcasting aspirations, I thought I'd go ahead and try this out. And you're hearing audio from the microphone that comes in that bundle. I'll be doing a review video on the Monocaster podcasting bundle soon, so stay on the lookout. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna drop out the Monocaster uh, microphone, and then I'm gonna let you hear what the native microphones sound like from the Wirestorm webcam. It has dual mics, and the last time I checked it out, it was pretty good. Now, the one thing you're always gonna contend with with webcam microphones is reverb. If you're not in a room that's treated uh, for sound, or at least has a lot of stuff on the wall, uh, maybe curtains, things like that, to deaden the sound, you're gonna get some uh, echo or reverb sound. And this room is not treated for sound at all. So you should pick up on that. So let's, uh, let's do that right now. I'm gonna drop out the Monocaster right here. And we're gonna bring up the Wirestorm mic. mic? right now so you're hearing audio from the wirestorm mic the native microphones in the webcam i am about we'll call it 18 inches from the webcam so this is what you could expect in a room like this okay uh when i listened to it back i thought it was decent for a webcam it obviously is not ideal like i said i always recommend getting yourself a decent uh, it can be budget friendly microphone. I've done a few videos on some good options. I'll put some cards up here and also put some links down in the description box to those review videos if you're interested in checking those out. But again, here's how the audio sounds from the native mics. I'm going to go ahead and bring the Monocaster mic back now. And there you go. So you should hear a pretty significant difference in the audio in the intro i feel like i gave you a pretty good idea of the subject tracking but let's do some more demonstration on that so you can get a really good idea of what this thing can do okay so i'm just going to move around a little bit here and uh, you'll see how the webcam will just adjust automatically as i move around the frame it's keeping me in the center okay let's move in and you can see how this is uh, how this is working. 
Now I'm actually going to stand up now. I'm gonna stand up in the rear of the room and you'll see what happens there, all right? Asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah, you, you always make me feel like I'm okay. There you go. Pretty good, right? Now, if you were to pair a um, lapel mic, lavalier mic to yourself, you could totally use this as a presentation camera uh, because it will track you. There is a little bit of a lag as you can see, but I think this is pretty darn good. Again, there's no movable parts on that uh, webcam. This is all software tracking. There's no little box or anything like that. It's all, it's just doing it all by itself automatically. Really, really cool. And I imagine the audio wasn't very good there. So hopefully you did hear what the heck I was saying. If not, I'll just cut that out. <laughs> now let's just talk about the obvious. Take a look at the video quality. Pretty good, right? Really good. So again, 4K, you can see what it looks like, okay? Colors look good. Whites are white. Blacks are black, right? My skin tone looks accurate. This is really impressive. I've always recommended the Logitech C920. I still think it's probably the best uh, webcam that you can get for everything that you get. But if you need 4K, you want 4K, you need something that's gonna track you, man, look at what this thing can produce. I'm really impressed with it. I think it looks really, really good. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the lights that I have here that's the other thing you always want to make sure you have good lighting especially with webcams they have such small sensors that you really have to make sure you have good lighting so i'm going to drop these out and show you how the webcam performs in low light but first a couple other things uh, this webcam actually does have a cover that you can place on the front for privacy so that's a good feature and it also has a quarter 20 thread on the bottom so you can mount it to a tripod should you uh, want to do that. The other thing to mention is that there is software available for this webcam that will allow you to make uh, manual adjustments to the uh, picture. You can download it on Wirestorm's website. Now I'm using a Mac. Um, that file, it's an EXE file that I cannot execute here on a Mac. So uh, you'll have to be on a Windows PC in order to utilize that uh, software. I'm using um, OBS. So there are some adjustments I can make within OBS, but I believe within that software, you can do things like zoom in, zoom out, things like that. So uh, I'll put the link to where you can get access to that software. Okay, now let's turn off these lights here. Pulling up, then we hopping out. Got you walking out with the wobble legs. Wait, girl, I peeped you looking like a baddie, you a diva. Pretty face, caramel skin, like a Leah. Saw that fatty. All right, so here we are with no supplemental lighting. The only lighting in this room is coming from that window over there. So you can see what you get here, right? Um, it's not the best, but it's not, I mean, it's usable, it's still usable. The only light that I have is coming from that window and from the actual monitor itself. I have a little um, desk lamp here. Let's turn that one on and see what happens. So we've got a little light there. I'm gonna point it to myself. That's not a lot of light, but even that little bit does help. And it actually uh, gives it a little bit of a dramatic effect here. <laughs> so, but let's go ahead and get these lights turned back on and then we'll wrap up the video. All right, product links are down in the description box if you're interested in this one. And if you have any questions, maybe something I didn't touch on or you want me to clarify on, please put those down in the comments and I will definitely respond. And until next time, be good to somebody, be good to yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Later, y'all.